Officer Dan here. We're going to be installing the GK Tech S13 and S14 five speed short shifter. And this unit's going to reduce your shift throw by about 30%. And this is the only shifter on the market that uses the OEM shifter cup to reduce in cabin noise. This is what's in the box the main plate, the shifter itself, the collar, the shifter boot mount, circlip, and the grub screw. Now, step one is going to be to remove your gear knob, then the radio surround. Then remove the shifter surround bracket bolts and the shifter surround itself. Remove the zip tie or whatever is holding down your shifter boot. Remove the circlip and the shifter. Remove the shifter plate bolts. Some of them can be a little tricky to get to. And finally remove the shifter plate itself. Do not lose this spring. Take it out and then put a rag in there while you clean up the old gasket. You want to get this surface as clean as possible. Of course, don't forget to remove the rag, then use it to clean the area with your cleaner of choice. And you can use the OEM shift bushing, but it's probably going to be worn out as all get up. Instead, we recommend using the GK Tech solid shifter bushing, and it will be a direct replacement for your factory item. Now, lube that thing up generously inside and out, as well as the actual short shifter itself. Now, you need to press the bushing in. Now, you don't want to bang it against stuff, as it may damage the bushing itself. Using a press like this will make your life a lot easier, and boom, it's in. Now, if you didn't put any lube on it, now's the time to make sure that it is fully lubed. You can use an OEM gasket, or you can use a high quality sealant as shown here. Make sure to smear it on evenly. Don't overdo it on the sealant as it may fall in and cause issues. Now carefully install the shifter plate and finger tighten all the bolts. Torque those puppies down in this order shown to these specs. Now you'll probably need a wrench to get to the back too. Once you've torqued all of those down, remove the circlip from the OEM bracket, the shifter cup, and the wave washer. Now slip the wave washer back in, press in the shifter cup. As you can see, it fits like factory. Now line up the shifter locating pins, and remember to be patient because it is kind of difficult to get that bushing in. Now slide the shifter down, and once you know it's in place, give it a little shove. Now install the supplied collar with the tapered edge down. Make sure that it's lubed up as well and toss it in. Now reinstall the OEM circlip. Install the shifter boot itself. Secure with zip ties. Clip those things off. Now install your shifter surround boot and the shifter surround bracket. Install the bracket bolts. Tighten those things down. Line up your shifter mount bolt with the shifter cutout. Now this is where the set screw is going to rest. Now tighten the shifter set screw. Refit the shifter boot. Secure the shifter boot with the zip tie. Cut that tail off. Now reinstall your radio surround. And install your gear knob. Make sure that you can select all of the gears, initial D style. Now you can short shift like the best of them on the internet. Officer Dan, out.